Now let's look at indexing and slicing strings. So we have these strings that we just declared. We have message, we have greetings, and we have email message, which is a which is a multi-line string. And to slice, the first thing that we need to understand is first the how to index a string. So indexing in Python starts from zero. What you mean by that is ideally assigning uh, something. Uh, in this case, it could be assigning a letter or assigning a word an index or a number that we'll use as a reference to it. So you can say, for example, uh, let's actually declare another variable here. So I'll declare another variable here and I'll call it text. And we're going to call this text. I'll give it a text like simple, like Python, right? Then the next thing that we're going to do from here, and I can just get rid of all these messages that we have for now. I'm going to print, I'm going to print this text but i want to index it so i just say text and then how we how we apply indexing is we use square brackets so the variable name then square brackets and indexing like i mentioned in python starts from zero so i type in a zero so what this is going to do is it's going to print out p because p is at index zero and then y is going to be at index one two three and so on and so forth so if i save this uh, control s and we run our code i'll just say python Python three strings dot py. You see now it prints just p because that's how indexing works. If I go ahead and say something like three, and I save this and run again, you see it prints h. Right now let's 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 try and print an index that is outside the range of this word here because. For example, if you go to with an index like seven, because the, again, this doesn't reach index seven, it's from index zero, one, two, three, four, five. So if we save that and run, you see, we get an error. And the error that we get, it's important that we understand these errors, but in this case, we get an index error. And it tells us that the string index is out of range. What it's telling us is that the seven that we're looking for is out of the range of this index. This index doesn't, or rather this string does not reach uh, seven or does not have an index of seven. So this is an error to note out for you. At any point you get such an index error, it's because you're trying to access something that doesn't exist or the string is a bit smaller than uh, what, what you had hoped at the beginning. So this is how indexing works. Zero, one, two, three, all the way. Keep that in mind. It's going to be really important in some of the upcoming concepts that are going to be writing. And I do hope that you are taking some notes here. Now, as we talk about indexing and slicing, now I'd like us to try and get the last, the last word, uh, the last letter in this string, the string text. How you get it is you just type in, again, we're just try printing it out. So we get the, the variable name, the, then you get this, uh, the square brackets. And for you to get the last element, you just write a hyphen or, and one or minus one. So minus one always refers to the last, the last item. So I'm going to save this. Oh, okay, I need to, because this is out of range, so I can just say something like zero. That zero is the first element, the first the, the first item uh, there. And if I run this now, you see we get N. N is the last, uh, the last index here. So whenever you want to get the last element in a, in a string, you just use minus one. Again, this concept is really important that you notice down because it's going to be important in some of the upcoming things that we're going to be looking at. Uh, again, this is the, the, one of the reasons why this is important is because at times you could be dealing with a string that is so long or you don't really have to look at it manually. Uh, like, you know, counting manually like one, two, three, all the way until you get the last, to the last letter so that we can get what the index of that letter is and try to print it here. That is a lot of work. So we just have to save you the time use minus one to get it and then zero for the first index. Uh, the next thing that we need to understand here is now in case you want to slice. So we talked about slicing of a string. So how you do that, again, we're going to just print, and then you check the name of the variable here, the variable is text, then square brackets, and you have to specify, or rather you need to specify the start index and the end index. So I can say the start index, for example, is zero. Then I, want, I have a full colon, and let, let me say it goes up to four. Yeah. So what it what this is what this means is that it's going up to but not including index four. So index zero, one, two, three. So it's going to go up to H, but it does not include four. That is also a key thing to note because it's going to be important in the future. So as you can see here, we're getting Pyth, right? If I go ahead and say uh, let's say from uh, from zero up to index three, then it should give me B P Y T as you can see here. 
this is the concept of indexing so not indexing but rather uh slicing so here we're just uh we're just slicing all this the other thing that you can do is you can get rid of the starting index we save this and if we run our code you see we still get this so whenever you don't whenever you you just want the slice to start from the beginning uh, the only thing that you can specify is you can just go ahead and specify just the the last index that you want it you want it to go up to so if you run this again you see you get python but it, whenever you want to specify the start index then you can specify so for example i can say this the start index here is two i hit save and i run this again you see now i get so as the as the slice out of this word that we have here and you can you can now do the same thing with uh, all the other strings that we have so for example uh, let's try with let's say email the email message the email message string that we have there so if we try to slice that we run this code you see what you get we just get uh hope like h or p which is this one here again it is counting the index from index to uh, up to but not including index five now how this works is it counts i as the index zero this space here is going to be index one and then index two index three index four and index five is going to be e but as we know it does not include the last index that you specify here so it's up to but not including and yeah that is the concept of indexing and slicing of strings so in the next video we're going to be looking at string operations i'll see you then